Okay. Okay, I'm doing a scrap pickup. I can't really show my client or their place, but uh, we're starting to fill the truck up. There's a bunch of laptops, printers, and uh, desktop computers in there. And they're going to go get cart loads more. I've already got the back seat full of lead acid batteries from the uh, backup power units. And uh, yeah, I hear the cart coming. They're coming with more. They're saying my truck is not big enough. I may have to make two trips today or even bring my trailer later. Okay, the truck is absolutely filled to the brim. I can't open the tailgate and show you because all kinds of stuff will fall out. The back seat is full too. So, and they're already talking about me coming back maybe next week and picking up more just because I couldn't get it all. This is cool. This is great. Yeah, even the back seat of my truck is stuffed. Those blue bins, and there's three of them in there, are full of old lead acid batteries out of a battery backup systems. And uh, these boxes, well, we'll just have to unpack them because I don't remember what's in them. But there's, there's a lot of stuff here. All right, let me get started unpacking. Well, I got the back seat unloaded. These two bins are very heavy. They are full of lead acid batteries. One of them, like a brand new, still in the packaging laptop battery. Interesting. This bin over here is full of laptop power supplies on top, but underneath, it's all hard drives the rest of the way down. And I'm glad there's some laptop power supplies because I've got about 50 laptops in there they gave me. And they said some of them probably still work fine, so it's good I've got some power supplies because I can probably just sell some of the working laptops. So that, that'd that be great. And then this box has some other junk over here. And this box is mostly full of keyboards. Um, again, new in the box, high-speed host card. Some other stuff down there, some mice and other stuff, but mostly keyboards. So I gotta get to unloading the back of the truck now. This is the uh, daunting part. Loading it was difficult. Unloading it is scary. Okay, this is the scary part, opening up the back end of the truck. Because not only did they load me up when I went to make the scrap pickup, one of the guys there said, hey, come on over to my house. I've got some stuff for you too. So this is loaded. He had some motors, he had some copper wire, he had some stainless steel pool, pool railings. And let me pull a few things out before I try to open the bed. I don't think I can get to the other railing right now. Because a lot of this stuff is just going to, I think a lot of this stuff is just going to come avalanche it out if I try to. Uh, open up the bed. We get a couple of these big motors out that are precariously balanced against the bed. This was this was a great scrap pickup. Copper wire. Lots and lots of copper wire. Another great big motor. Abby. <sighs> That's a big motor. Wow. Uh, let's see, what is this? I guess it's... I don't know. Printer, maybe? I'll look at it a little bit. That's going to come falling out if I open the bed. Or the... If I open the tailgate, I mean. Let's see here. Okay, that's not so bad. Some more stainless steel here. He gave me his own jumper cables. That's some serious copper there, let me tell you. I gotta get that stripped. Okay. And then look at all this stuff. Yeah, there's some junk, there's some flat screens, but... Uh, Here's a whole other box full of cables. Oh, let me tell you, they want me to go back and pick up more. They have got cable like you would not believe. They've been saving it for a hundred years. Uh, and old um, PC cards, sound cards, video cards.
stuff they didn't need in their production PCs, they just pull them out, throw them in a cabinet. They've been accumulating them forever. They want to get rid of them. That'll be the next pickup. So yeah, there's cables, cables, more laptop power supplies, barcode scanners. I don't even know what that is. Uh, what is this? Oh, that is a uh, server hot swap power supply. Probably shot, but look at the look at the gold fingers on it. My goodness, nice. Yeah, this is going to take a while. These printers, each of these printers weighs 50, 60 pounds. And the thing is, at least some of them still work, they tell me. They're just obsolete. I might be able to resell some of them. They gave me, they, le they left a little bit of the, uh, of the media inside them so I can test them. I'll just have to load, uh, load the drivers on one of my computers and hook them up and see if I can get them working. I might be able to sell some of them. But I'll tell you what, that's a lot of scrap iron, the ones that don't work. I'll be making a big iron run to the scrapyard soon, that's for sure. Alright, let me get to unloading. This is going to take probably a good part of the afternoon. i got to find homes for all this stuff. Some of it can stay outside. But some of it I'm going to want to keep in my workshop, the stuff that I might want to sell. Keep it out of the rain, which is coming in a day or two. Let me get to work. I'll show you anything interesting I find along the way. A lot of stuff went in there. <clears throat> Starting to make a little headway. Got through a few printers and a lot of flat screen monitors. Starting to get into some computers. This one, this one's been stripped pretty good. Some software here too. And uh, hey, three and a half inch floppies for my retro computing. Those things cost money, so that's nice to get some. It's a brand new sealed. Windows NT Workstation, two, one to two processor edition. Probably not worth much of anything, but I'll check it out. So, uh, starting to make some progress. Well, I've got a little further back into the truck. Um, whole stack of computers here, desktops. This bin is full of docking stations and speakers lots of speakers and more docking stations down on the bottom I found that the docking stations really aren't worth anything but the trick to keeping a good customer and getting the good stuff is not saying no you won't take some so I, I might get 10 cents a pound for them at the scrapyard I've tried reselling them on eBay they're a glut on the market. Nobody wants them. So, uh, but I'm getting into the good stuff. There's a huge stack of laptops right there on the left side, and then more even behind them, and more on top of them, and uh, some more desktops behind these printers. Whew, I'm going to be tired of moving printers by the time I get this truck unloaded. They are heavy. Okay, we're getting down to it. Pretty much all that's left is laptops and desktops and one or two more printers and one CRT monitor. Now, the one thing I do balk at taking is CRT monitors because they are just so difficult to get rid of and they don't have anything valuable in them. I mean, heck, the cord on it's the most valuable part. The rest of it's just dead weight that's difficult to get dispose of these days. So, fortunately, they only had one. And for one, I would take it. If they had a bunch, I'd have had to tell them no on that. But uh, one I'll take. All right, so now we're down to the laptops. I'm going to get those out a little more carefully because some of them may still work. In fact, they said a lot of them may still work. A lot of them were just retired. They, uh, they upgraded their whole plant to Microsoft Surface um, laptops. So... All of the old corporate laptops got retired, whether they worked or not. So I'm going to pull those out a little gently, and we'll see how many of them actually work. You know, hey, if I can resell them at the yard sale for 30, 40, buck, 50 bucks a piece, that's that's a lot of money. So yeah, so let me crawl in there and start pulling them out gently. Well, it has warmed up. 
after a cold start to the day and I am starting to sweat but I'm getting there I'm getting there I've got all the laptops out and stacked up in the back so I can move them into my workshop so they don't get rained on tomorrow there's 34 laptops there 34 I love laptops they're kind of a pain in the butt to get into compared to the desktops over here there's like eight more desktops to unload but uh, I'll tell you pound for pound laptops have a lot more gold in them plus I wouldn't be surprised if at least half of these work. So um, I'm going to go through them. Some are missing their batteries. Some have notes on them saying that they have various problems. But a lot of them look perfect. And the guy I got them from said they might be just fine. They've just been obsoleted by the surfaces. So um, I'll go through them. And any that work and I have power supplies for, I'll try to sell because you can get more money from even an old cheap old working laptop by selling it than you can by scrapping it out for the gold. But the rest, the rest I don't have power supplies or batteries for or don't work, they'll get scrapped out. And I'm thinking all of these desktops will get scrapped out. I'll get the motherboards and other stuff out of them and the steel cases will just go. In my next run of steel and scrap iron to the, uh, to the scrap yard. And, uh, Oh, there's some big printers in the very front of the truck. We loaded them first. So, uh, oh, I still got some more work to do, but at least the end is in sight. Okay, so here's a score. Do you see it? Do you see it? That's a five and a half inch floppy drive, or five and a quarter inch floppy drive. I bought one of them for my retro computing not long ago. These things are worth about a hundred bucks a pop now. Who'd have thought it? I mean, heck. The uh, three and a half inch drives, of which there are two in this machine, are going for 30, 40 bucks. You know how many of them I threw out back in the day? Well, now I've got a second uh, five and a half inch floppy drive anyway, so that's good. And a couple more uh, three and a half inch drives, I'll sell them on eBay. So, beautiful. Almost down to it. Two more to get these two more desktops out of here, and those three printers in the up front. And I am done, finally. I'm going to need a shower. Okay, the truck is finally empty. Yay! Whoa! I'll give you a kind of walk around all this stuff and show you what I got before I stop put it away. Some of it's got to go under cover before it rains tomorrow. Some of it can stay out here, I just don't care. Some of it's just junk. But yeah, some of it's got to go under cover. So I'll give you a little walk around. Okay, so look, have, let's have a look at this amazing haul that barely fit in my truck. So we got the stainless steel to start off with here, the pool stuff. I need to uh, beat the rest of the concrete off the ends before I take it to the uh, scrap yard. But stainless steel, that's nice. Over here, I've got motors and uh, cables, the jumper cables, the uh, copper wire, the conduit. Guy gave me the old starter from his old Chevy too, when he replaced it, when I went over to his house to do, pick up some extra stuff. So there's a lot of weight right there. Uh, what did I say, 34 laptops? My goodness. Yeah, I gotta go through them, see which ones work. I may be having an amazing yard sale here and selling some laptops. Um, a lot of these big industrial label printers, I mean, and each one is like 50, 60 pounds too. I hope the deck that I built for my kilns back there doesn't collapse under the weight. Um, and that's not all of them. I got a couple more over there. Uh, those I'm pretty sure are too far gone. I'm not going to worry about getting them out of the weather, but these I, I don't think I have room in my workshop for them. I'll probably just cover them up with a tarp to keep them, keep them from getting wet. Uh, the laptops, of course, are going in the workshop. Uh, lots of desktops. Lots and lots and lots of desktops. Um, this one, of course, going in the shop because it's got the five and a quarter inch drive in it I want out of it. I got a couple printers here that are nothing but junk and, uh, and a CRT monitor. This bin full of docking stations and desktop speakers. That's pretty much junk. I gotta get their bins back to them too on the next time I go. Uh, that that box is pretty much full of keyboards and other stuff, including some nice PS2 keyboards, which come in handy for retro computing. So that's nice. 
Uh, the garbage men just rolled up. That's good because there was some garbage too, and I just hustled a bunch of it out to the street because I knew they were coming. Uh, got a bunch of uh, flat screen monitors. There's not much in flat screen monitors, but again, you don't want to say no to a good client, you know. Um, box full of cables and uh, that that uh, server power supply. A box full of uh, laptop power supplies and hard drives. Two bins full of um, lead acid batteries. Uh, there's another. There's another printer up there. So, yeah. All together. All together, it's quite the haul. And I, I am hoping I can get some of this stuff working. Not so much the, uh, the desktops or the junky printers, but uh, these industrial label printers. These go for a pretty penny when they work. I worked with companies that use a lot of these, so yeah. So okay, I need to get some of this stuff under cover before the rain starts. And then, before the wife complains about having so much junk, I need to start scrapping it out and uh, loading our utility trailer down with the steel. I'll be making a trip to the uh, scrapyard pretty soon to get rid of the steel. All right, well, I hope you found this video interesting. If so, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to see future videos. Some of this stuff may uh, may appear in future videos as it's being scrapped out or being worked on or being sold or whatever. So, uh, yeah, subscribe to see those future videos. And press the little bell icon that YouTube makes you press to be notified when new videos come out. And thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video.